yeah, yeah. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her. I wish I had a rabbit and a hat with a bat and a six form parlor. I wish I was like five foot nine. Yeah, we're gonna stop right there because I'm not a rapper. My nose is a little stuffy and I'm a little hungry if you know what I'm saying. But anyways, people, it is time for Sven Scriber Sunday, formerly known as Subscriber Sunday. We're gonna go through this week's questions. I am kind of disappointed because Nappy and Twit were supposed to be on this week's episode, but due to uh, a lack of communication on my part, we're gonna push it back one week, hopefully. But um, I do got some good stuff for you guys, and I actually have something pretty exciting to reveal to you at the end of this video. So the first one for this week is from the Awesome Gamers 100. If you could make a movie, what kind of movie would it be? Money is no object. Um, you know, I would usually say zombie apocalypse because I would do a zombie apocalypse movie the right way. It would be a mix of, you know, the more modern zombies and how zombies are perceived now, but it have a very, very, very heavy influence of George Romero's 1980s zombies. Those are by far the best. The 70s and 80s zombies. I have every George Romero movie. A lot of you guys probably know him just from Call of the Dead on Black Ops 1 and one of the Zombies maps. But he is the best zombies filmmaker ever. If you have ever not heard of him or not seen his zombies movies, go check him out. Do it right now before you even continue on to this video or right after you're done watching this video. Um... So, you know, zombie would be the popular choice for me, but, you know, I want to see something with space. I don't really know what. I want to see something realistic, something scary as fuck. And my prayers for that might be answered because as me and Jillian recently went and saw a movie, I can't remember which movie it was exactly. It's going to kind of bug me now. Maybe I'll remember after. But, um... It showed people on the International Space Station, and there's this part where, like, something in space, I don't know if it was a meteor, or, like, space garbage, or what the fuck it was, but it hit the International Space Station, and one of the people got flung out into space, and that, to me, would be the scariest and most horrible way to die, in my opinion. Maybe I'll do a video about that, but, um, some kind of scary space movie, like a realistic one. Or, you know, go with the regular zombies apocalypse movie, I'm not really sure. I like Contagion too, some kind of end of the world virus. You know, I would have to say some kind of apocalyptic movie, so I don't continue to ramble on more than I've already done so. The next one is from Captain Paul 91 Hey Sven, it's your boy Captain Paul. You know, the one you never call back. Suck on my balls, bitch. That was me, not him. Now back to his message. I was wondering what caused your big hiatus. Do you feel a lack of passion for YouTube? Also, man, I've been growing and wondering, how do I make sure I keep growing? I've been making some funny ass skits and commentaries wrapped in my channel. I will have a skit attached below. I'm glad you're back, bro. Well, I'm glad I'm back too. And like I said before, you can suck on these nuts, bitch. Nah, I'm just kidding, bro. You are my bitch, but, um... A big reason for my hiatus, I had a lot of stuff going on in real life, and you put it perfectly, it was a lack of passion for YouTube. I think the reasons for me, you know, pushing out videos wasn't necessarily for my passion or my love of YouTube and gaming, and after a while it just wears you down and you just realize you kind of took yourself out of your element off doing it for the fun of it. And that's something I always preach, you know, don't do YouTube for the wrong reasons, do it for the fun, yada yada yada, we all know what I'm saying. And um, once I got away from that motto that I tried to carry myself with, I was, you know, I, I kind of took a step back, looked in the mirror and was like, what the fuck am I doing? You know, I'm pushing out what I consider to be low quality videos just to, you know, try to maintain a channel and, you know, make a little bit of money and it was... I could just, <clears throat> after a while, I said fuck it, and I took a break, and it was also a lack of, you know, being pumped up and amped up to game. Games at that time got a little bit dry for me, I kinda needed a break from Battlefield because I played the fuck out of it, 
and Battlefield and COD were all I was really playing at that time, so it was a little mixture of a couple of things, but I am back, I've had this whole, you know, refound glory for YouTube and this and that, and I actually had a lot of time to think while I was gone, and I do have some stuff to uh, fall back on so that I can still maintain my YouTube channel while having fun and bringing you guys great content, content that I am satisfied with. So, that is that, Captain Paul, you are a douchebag, but I love you dearly. The Mr. Gaming is responsible for something that I'm going to be doing on my channel. It's going to be uh, somewhat like a documentary, I guess you could say. It's something that I am very excited to do, but I'm going to get back to that in a minute. The Awesome Gamers asks, Pornhub or UJiz? Mm, I've never really been to UJiz. And uh, me and Jillian, we actually were on Pornhub a couple of months ago because the, the world record for the most people, the world record for how many people one person has slept with in one day is right around a thousand and me and Jillian didn't believe it so we googled it and it actually brought us to a Pornhub link. I can't remember what the girl's name was but she banged like 974 dudes or something crazy like that. And the crazy thing is, is the world record is in one day. She actually did this all right around one hour. She had sex with 900 and some dudes. You can go google it right now. It's the craziest shit I have ever seen. And I do know that Pornhub was advertised as a tattoo on somebody's forehead. So I'm going to have to go with Pornhub on this one if you want my professional opinion. But anyways, back to the Mista Gaming. So he sent me this question that said, tell us the story about what went down with Victory. And I was sitting there thinking, and I was thinking at first, you know, I could do a whole video about this. But I want to do something more than just talk. I want to do, like I said, kind of a documentary where I kind of lay out the trials and tribulations of the moment that I signed that contract with Vid through all the way through Operation Free Sven D and even after that, you know, where we are currently. So, um, it's going to be a project I'm going to be working on for a little while now. I imagine I want to give myself a week or two to do it because I have a lot of great ideas to put into this. And the story isn't so much just about me and vid through it's gonna you know be about that in retrospect but it's gonna be about people partnering their channels on YouTube and all we hear about is the glory money and fame and fortune and women and fucking you know going to having a thousand virgins and a silk bath you know all that bullshit they tell you all the time well I'm gonna bring out the other side of partnerships that people don't really know about and are not really aware of and uh, it's gonna be a great great thing I think it's gonna be a very big video it's gonna be that video of mine I think that my biggest video right now I have a couple of videos that are in the 200,000 range I think this could be my first video that hits 300,000 plus views over time and um, it's gonna have a lot of time put into it and it's gonna be a very high quality product that's something I can promise you guys so something to keep in mind I just went through all the questions on YouTube so I'm gonna save my Twitter ones from next week and uh, I'm gonna have Navi and Twitch to go through those for me so if you guys aren't aware you can send in questions to me on Twitter and on YouTube you gotta send me a private message on YouTube titled subscriber Sunday or something along those lines and if you want to send me a question in on Twitter, send me the question with hashtag SvenScriberSunday or hashtag AskSven. Until next time, people, it is your boy Sven D. We have just over a week until Payday 2. That is going to be an everyday fucking upload for me until I get sick of that game. That's how excited I am for it. So, anyways, people, I will catch you all on my next video. Much love. 
Hashtag spend the army. You all are the shit. I get hard to you and I'm gonna go eat a box of all those while I'm playing with myself, thinking about you guys leaving comments and giving me good or bad ratings and subscribing to my channel. Because I'm gonna pour myself out for views and likes and subscribers. Yeah, I like pickles. Yeah, I like chicken noodle soup. Yeah, I'm gonna end this video. Yeah, I'm gonna go and turn a cartwheel into a Hot Wheels car and then make some pickle sandwiches out of my mushroom shoestring shoes. Yeah.